and welcome back to another very very special vlog so if you've seen my last part of the America videos you'd have seen that I said at the last bit of that video that I think the Vegas vlog is gonna be a favorite of mine and that is because we are getting married <laughs> tomorrow it feels so weird being able to say it out loud because basically there's not many people at this moment in time that know. So as it stands at the moment, we're here with Emily and Brad and they obviously know that we're getting married. Mm -hmm. Our parents know, our siblings know, and our very, very, very close friends know. When we booked this America trip last year, ever since then we've been joking, saying like, we'll get, we're gonna get married in Vegas, like joking with our friends and family, mm -hmm. like joking around, yeah, weren't we? Yeah. It was two days before we flew out here and we sat down and I said, instead of keep messing around and laughing and joking about it, should we just do it? Yeah. And why not? You stupidly said yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we've both thought about it. Like yeah. I've thought about it, you've thought about it. Mm -hmm. I just thought, like, how amazing would it be to go through all of the pictures mm -hmm. and think back to all of the memories, all the videos, everything, and you can say, we got married in Vegas. Yeah, like, that's cool. Yeah. Two days before we flew out to America, we quickly rushed around and I panic bought two dresses from ASOS, one that I have with me today. So I ordered two and the one that I have brought with me today to wear tomorrow was like the backup. It was not the one that I ever thought I was going to wear. Mm. Matt's not seen it. Um, it's literally just my sister and my mum, my dad. I tried it on with them the day before we flew out here and my friends have seen a picture that I've sent them. No one really knows we're even doing this, so really it feels not. a bit weird to yeah. be able to like yeah. say it out loud. So when we had actually decided back home to actually elope in Vegas, we went through and we told all of our parents first, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So I told my mum first, and she was all for it. I told my dad, and he was like a little bit emotional. Yeah, yeah. He was emotional but in a good way like it's not very often you see a dad get upset but no. he was really happy for us yeah. obviously when he gave us like a big hug and was like oh yeah. i'm so happy for you for and then matt said how do you feel not walking me down the aisle mm. and he was like, oh i've not really thought about that no. but he was a bit sad about that but we'll come to that stage of that in a minute once we've talked about the rest yeah. um we told our siblings my sister was a bit emotional but she is absolutely fine everyone was just so so happy for us to just get married mm. i think because we've been engaged now for like five years it's not a weird thing for us to do like it, no, that, that is, is the us. next thing to yeah. just go yeah. and do so yeah. you told your mum first yeah and she was emotional but happy yeah, emotions happy. Yeah, like yeah, she was like definitely. i'm just so so happy for you both yeah, yeah, yeah. your little brother literally wanted to fly out with us yeah. if he could have booked <laughs> a flight been he in. would be here right yeah, now yeah, yeah told my dad dad literally was like do you know what I knew you were going to do that. Yeah, him and his partner so, had said that we yeah. were going to do it in Vegas before yeah. we even knew we were going to do it. Yeah. So it's a very, it's not very out of character for us to not do something all, crazy no. like this. We're very spontaneous. Yeah, that's why I think it's going to be so good though, because yeah. it, it is spontaneous. But that's what's going to make it fun. That's going to be what we're going to remember forever. Um, like all of the pictures, all the videos. It's just going to be unreal. We can say we got married in Vegas. Mm -hmm. We weren't able to go and actually tell a lot of our friends, so we had to do a lot of that over FaceTime. Mm -hmm. But it was so funny being able to watch, like, flip between their faces yeah, and yeah. see, like, their reactions. Everyone's reactions, isn't it? yeah. Everyone was so happy for us. Yeah, everyone's buzzing. Like, everyone was like, it's not out of character for you guys to do yeah. anything like this. Um, some of them were like, Get, we can't be there. Well, our friends, Laura and Jack, when I said on FaceTime to her, her face sort of dropped, and I was like, How do you feel? Like, do you feel sad? Because We've said from the start we would never do anything like this if it was ever going to upset anyone. Like, oh, no, our yeah. friends and family literally mean the world to mm. us, so I'd never want to do anything to like upset anyone or make anyone feel a certain way. So I said to her like, "Why? Like, why is your face dropped?" <laughs> and she was like, "I don't know. It just feels so right. Like, it just feels 
like the right thing to do. So that was really nice to hear. Literally, our parents, our siblings, and our really close friends know that we are getting married mm -hmm. tomorrow. Before we came out here, we had found a chapel that we liked the look of. We hadn't mm -hmm. booked it or anything, had we? No. The only thing we had done back home was do our wedding certificates. Yep. So you have to... Do that online. It's like the Clark County Bureau. Mm -hmm. They do like the legal side of things. So you have to pay, I think it's about $100 to get a certificate that you'll give to the chapel so that they can legally, legally. sort out your wedding. Yeah. So um, a lot of people think that when you come to Vegas and get married it's just like sort of a fake ceremony and then you have to go home and then do everything legally but it is actually. you can do everything properly here. Mm -hmm. So when we leave America or when we leave tomorrow, no, as soon as we walk out of the chapel we will be okay. Mr. and Mrs. Jeffries. Yeah, I'm going to be a Georgia Jeffries. So that's what we did before we came out here. Since we've been out here, you'd have seen what we've been up to in the last vlog anyways. So we flew into LA and we had a lovely day in LA and then we got the RV and we drove to Death Valley. Mm -hmm. And on the way to Death Valley, I wrote my wedding vows. Yeah. And I think I've nailed it. Mm -hmm. I think I've nailed it. So at this minute in time, my sister is the only one that knows what they say and she said it made her cry so I think that's a good thing yeah and I said to her like is there anything you think I should change or what order of things should I say things in and she was like no honestly they're perfect so yeah. I just needed someone to just go read over. them and like giving your homework to the teacher literally she's just got a tick <laughs> tick tick well yeah. done Smiley stick and stamp. Hey star, yeah. <laughs> and then we were in Death Valley for one night. I also ripped my vows on the way to Back. Death Valley. Yeah, did you? Yeah, because Brad was driving. I'm really happy with mm -hmm. like my vows. There's nice bits and then there's like funny bits. Mm -hmm. See if I can get them all out. Without blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to blah. I don't want to cry either. I don't either. want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin my makeup. But yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, so we had Death Valley and then we drove to Grand Canyon. We spent the last two nights in Grand Canyon. We literally drove from Grand Canyon this morning to Vegas today where we have been out shopping. You got a new shirt, you got a bow tie, mm -hmm. I got, or I ordered a bouquet, I got a veil. So we are literally ready to go. The only thing we need to do is pick up our wedding certificate. So as of today, I am Georgia Wells. As of tomorrow, I am Georgia, Georgia Jeffries. Jeffries. So our plan is at the end of this trip, we're gonna have arranged a party for everyone. We yeah, call it like it. a wedding party. So I'm still gonna be in a dress, you're still gonna be in a suit, I'm gonna have bridesmaids, there'll be groomsmen, people are still gonna do like speeches and stuff, but it is literally gonna be like an evening party. Yeah. So yeah. we have organized the chapel that we are getting married at and it's called Sure Thing Chapel and we literally just found it on Instagram, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think this will actually be quite helpful for people because when we were trying to do research, yeah, there wasn't a lot on it, was there? No, not at all. No one does vlogs, like proper vlogs no. like this on so, Vegas. Not, not that we could find. Not at all. So yeah, we are getting married at Sure Thing Chapel, which is in Las Vegas. We have a videographer and photographer booked for tomorrow that um, done so much research on like I think when it comes to that sort of thing she is honestly the best person for the job because she knows what she's looking for so they are coming to this exact room tomorrow at 1 30 yep. to start yep. so the videographer is going to be with us for three hours the photographer is with us for three hours and yeah I think that's it yeah, so they're coming here so that we can do the dress reveal, is that right? Yeah, so we're doing like a dress reveal. Matt's going to go into Emma and Brad's room and get ready get there. In there. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. But we have just got to Vegas and we've not even really seen it yet. I feel like we've not seen really. it more from our lovely view that we're looking at oh, right yeah. now. But we have checked into the Wynn Hotel, but mm -hmm. it's their sister hotel, which is Uncle. Yeah, Uncle. Um, but as we walked through, like, I'm already obsessed with Vegas. Oh, like there are real. people literally sat at these casino like, machines. Like, yeah. Penny machines. No, slot Fruit machines. Fruit machines. Fruit, oh. slot machines. Slot machines. There's, there's everything you can think of. Yeah. If you pictured Vegas, all of the betting side of things, mm -hmm. and there's shops. There's like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci. Everything you could ever think of uh -huh. is downstairs in this in hotel. hotel. Yeah, it's now. It's mega. Yeah. But as of wedding goes. 
This is our wedding vlog. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> Me too. No. But I will just give you a room tour because we have literally, we've not even touched anything yet. I've been no. so eager to start this vlog, but I just was thinking on the way here, like, how do I start it? What do I say? Because mm -hmm. it just, it still feels like a secret. I yeah, even yeah. think when we post on social media and stuff, I still feel like it will feel like a secret. Because mm. I've been like, no one say anything, like, yeah. I don't want it to get out because so, there's so many people who've not even told yet. No. So when we actually have our ceremony tomorrow, we're going to get a little picture together and I'm just going to write a little message to everyone and be like, we've eloped in Vegas. Um, this is a situation we'd really like to celebrate with you when we're back in the UK. We'll send you a date and a time. So that is the plan. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. How do you feel? Yeah, feel fine. Matt's been so chill this entire time. Just another thing to add, if anyone is thinking about doing this, not that anyone probably is because it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Sure Thing Chapel have been so good on their messages. They mm. literally reply within hours. Yeah. On Instagram. On Instagram, but yeah, so easy. We actually decided to change our package a little bit. I decided oh, yeah. I wanted to get my flowers elsewhere and not with mm. the Sure Thing Chapel. Mm. And within five minutes, you had an email to say that our yeah. package so had been changed. Yeah, yeah. So they have honestly been unreal. Like everyone's just been very helpful along the way. And I couldn't have done it without everyone that has gone into the mm background of planning this so with that being said room tour room tour <laughs> this is where you walk in so we have a lovely big corridor here this is a room that goes into the other room which is a little bit weird if you ask me but that is locked and it's staying locked we have a lovely big mirror here like this place is huge I think like pics here are going to be really great as well and then in here we have an amazing bathroom I look so small in this mirror mat like I look so tiny um, but we have a really big mirror we have two double sinks and everything and then we have a bath Matt we have a bath you're gonna be buzzing yeah. and a really big shower this is probably one thing that I am most excited about these dressing gowns I can't tell you how soft they are. They're like silk, but then they're like fluffy on the inside. Unreal. So we have them in there. And then through here, we have the toilet. So that is the bathroom. And I'm obsessed. Like, I just am excited to like get ready in here, have pics in here. I'm just excited about everything. But yeah, this is the bathroom. And then you walk back out onto the corridor. Again, we've got a big mirror here, and then we've got these big double doors, which is a closet. And this is where said dress is currently hanging. I don't know what it looks like because it's been crunkled up in a case for the last few days in the back of the RV. So we will have to evaluate that tomorrow. But then you walk in, excuse all of our cases here, we've literally just dumped everything there. You literally walk through and we have a human on the bed, a lovely big mirror, a TV. Is the bed comfy? Yeah, but you know it's better. What? Room service. <gasps> Berry cheesecake, mm. carrot cake, oh my God, yum. But yeah, we have the big mirror here. We have like our little bedside tables. The bed is literally huge. You look small. Those pillars are massive as well. And then on this bit here, we have a mini fridge. Is there anything in here? <gasps> Fully stocked. Look at that. That is a mini fridge if I ever did see one. I'm really excited there's Fiji water in here. And then we walk through to where the view is. I'm so excited to see this all at night time. It's gonna be so good. So that is the Wynn Hotel and we're obviously just next to it but I think all of this down here connects I think I could be wrong it's so confusing I'm sure we came in through the win yeah so we came in in front of the wind on the other side of that oh I see so that's the wind hotel yeah we're in the, on the hotel. I see 
So we actually upgraded our room when we got here to have the panoramic room and I'm so glad we did because it's just going to be so good for like pictures and stuff like natural daylight. We've got a lovely little sofa here and then again there's a massive mirror here. So there's so much like natural light and everything and I think the strip is, where is the strip? There. That's the strip, I think. I'm just excited for the sun to set on Vegas and we can see everything that is going down. But that being said, I'm gonna pop in the shower and freshen myself up because we have been showering in an RV and the showers that you actually get tokens for at the campsites and it's not been the best. So I'm just gonna have a freshen up and then we're gonna go and explore Vegas for the first and last time as Georgia Wells. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll obviously insert things as and when they happen. I'm not gonna pick up the camera too much just because I wanna be able to enjoy the day as much as I can. But I will catch up with you guys a bit later. I have just had an update from Emily because she ordered a ASOS parcel to be delivered to the hotel and she is literally just across here. So I'm gonna press her button. <laughs> oh hey! Are you naked? Got any clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> France in the shower. Well. How's it? Um, fine. It's Happy? a lot more pink than we thought. Okay, good. Like in a good way. Are you gonna be in this? Okay. okay. So she was panicking about the colour. It looks so light. Wow! It's fine. I love it. How funny! It's really cute. It feels so I just, weird. I know. I've just literally sat down in front of the vlog and was like. Me and Matt are getting married. <laughs> and I it feels so weird saying it. Yeah, because we can actually talk about it. Like, now. it feels like it should be a surprise. My brain is literally, like, I don't even know what. It's crazy. Like, it's not your life. So this is Emily's dress. Ta-da! For my heels. She, um, like I said, she had her ASOS parcel delivered to her room. So... Honestly, brilliant. The service fabulous. is fabulous. This is what I said. Yeah. I said, like, the service here has been unreal. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I'll be up in 20 minutes. I was like, fab. No worries. Like, when we got our rooms, we went for the guides, weren't we? Mm. And uh, they're so prompt. Like, yeah. our cases were here. He was <laughs> like, you've got 19 cases? We were like, yeah. So, you guys got 19 items? We were like, yeah. Yeah. So we've been living in the RV. So. <laughs> you can tell. But I've got some bits that she's ordered for me as well. So, yes. we're going to have a look through. So I've just got back from Emily's room and her dress looks unreal, which is great. She literally ordered one size and was like, it's going to have to do. So all worked out fine, but we are now getting ready to go and hit the casinos and see Vegas. So I'm just going to curl my hair quickly before we get ready and just touch up my makeup. Um, but my top is PLT and this midi no it's actually maxi well it's maxi on me anyway is also from plt i'm just gonna put my leather jacket over it and then i'm gonna wear my dot buttons but i'm literally just gonna curl my hair and then i think emma said she's just gonna have a quick shower and then she'll be over and i can curl hers too because she wants it curly for tonight and then she can have it like wavy tomorrow which will be nice but it just feels so weird it's like i feel like it's not even We've not kept it a secret for that long, but it just feels weird now saying it out loud because I told all my friends at home, like, don't tell anyone, like, keep it to yourself. Because um, obviously, I didn't want anything to come out to people that we hadn't told yet because we want to be able to send that message to our friends and family. Obviously, they're still going to be a part of it back in the UK, but I just didn't want to let that one get out. I'm actually using. Um, beauty wax curler because I didn't bring mine we always tend to sort of share things when we come on trips together um, and it's unreal I think it's actually better than the D4 one that I've got so I would probably get this over that but I know this one's a little bit more expensive than the D4 one but I just find that these curls last a little bit longer the hair is curled and I've just let it cool a little bit I'm just going to brush it up if you can hear that, that's Matt's music. I don't know what he's playing, but it doesn't sound very friendly. But yeah, I just went over to get a charger from M, and 
She was running around with just moisturiser on, so she's going to be a little bit longer. She wants me to colour her, so I'm just going to finish getting ready and then I'll catch up with you when we're all ready to go out in Vegas. Yeah. These guys doing their shirt. Hot oh boy. We're in our outfits. We're ready to go on our standing. <laughs> Then day. What well, should we actually do? We have to do something a bit wild. No, Emily. Because no. you get married tomorrow. Yeah. We can't actually go no. anywhere. We're going to have some children. So chilling. far out. Yeah, I'm ready to do it. Anyway, we're ready. Oh, Let's try it for quick. Um, that was a quick. I have no idea. ASOS, ASOS, ASOS. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Mine's Zara PLT PLT. Easy. Yeah. Off we go. Are we in love Yeah. Are you allowed to film in here? I don't think so. Well, I'm not as much as that. Get to go. Morning wife. Hi. <laughs> People probably think that's Matt. It's me. <laughs> okay. It is morning of the wedding day. I feel like we need to play some wedding songs. I know. We didn't have the car yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we've been playing so many. The most played one is Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. You are? Yeah. I'm now. Oh my god. <laughs> it feels so weird. Oh, Emily actually pierced her ear last night. I told you not to do it. I have too many earrings. I needed some more space. <laughs> I know I'll do. I'll push an earring through my ear. I used to it all the time when I was a kid. That's why I've got five piercings on one ear. Anyways, Crazy. don't promote that. Anyways, um, so currently the boys have just popped out to get my bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Actually, do. Um, I think they're probably going to pop to the shop and get some bubbly as yes. well. They are currently out and I was sat here on my own and I started getting really sweaty hands like thinking about it and then we have doorbells on these doors and my doorbell went, went and I was like, it's Emily, she <laughs> saved me from my own thoughts. Brad said, he was like, you're going to come over now, I was like, I'm just going to brush my teeth and then um, I was like, right, I need to rush because you're just going to be sitting there thinking about it. <laughs> I'm stressed. Um, I'm not even like stressed out, I just feel like nervous, excited. Everything. Yeah, I'm just like... What is going on? I don't know. I just keep thinking to myself, how the hell do people do this morning knowing that they've now got to stand in front of a hundred people and do their vows? Mm. Like it's actually mind blowing. Yeah, it's just the vows. Because I think that is the one thing that's making me feel nervous. Mm -hmm. The rest of it I'm just excited about. Mm -hmm. But it's just my vows that I'm like it's only us. anxious about. I know. You talk to me all the time, you've got to think about it like that. Like, yeah. It's just a chat. Mm -hmm. you and Matt. I think I'm I'm nervous in case I cry. Well, you will cry, I so know. don't get over that. I know. <laughs> Do you think you're gonna cry? Yes. <laughs> You've asked me this ten times. I'm already mentally friends with that. I cry I... at like other people's wedding videos. Yeah, true, I've I do too. Met. Yeah. You know when you get a fuzzy nose and then yeah. it just comes up and you're like, oh, and you get it in your throat and you're like, oh, Yeah, here we go. <laughs> but yeah, so we have what time is it? Nine thirty six. So we've got ages. I feel like the morning is going to go so wow. fast. Mm. We're going to do a room service breakfast. We were going to go out, weren't we? But yeah, I just think we'd be a bit rushed for time. Like getting ready, going out, having breakfast, coming back. And then I just wanted the morning to be super chilled. Mm -hmm. And just to enjoy it. So we are going to get some room service when the boys are back. Have you decided what you're going to have? We're going to have the pancakes. The room service breakfast literally sounds incredible. Yours, isn't it? There's so many options. I think I'm gonna go for the pan of chocolat. An orange juice and a glass of champers. That's a bubbly. Corned beef hash, breakfast burrito, omelettes. So much. There's a Chinese breakfast, Japanese breakfast, Mexican breakfast. I wow. wouldn't have a Mexican before my wedding. No, you have had a Mexican for breakfast before. You had it in Turkey. Oh yeah, fajitas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just have whatever I fancy at the time. 
That's funny. Corn flakes, brown flakes, special K. I just want something like light, but I need something. Yeah. I feel like there's no way I'll be able to eat a big breakfast. I will keep you up to date as much as I feel like I want to today. I do just want to enjoy it. We're ready for you. You look amazing. I'm 
love in you. Every day, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, that I get to do my life with you. Now I ask you, Georgia, to take this man to your husband. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, and make him smile every single day? I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. Whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful, you are my world, my truth. And as you are, whatever a moon has always meant, whatever a sun will always sing, is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root, and the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky, which we call life, which grows higher than the soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. So as sure as I am standing here, and by the power of us to be by the lovely state of Nevada, I am not to be married. <laughs> <laughs> I could do another one. Do you want to get another one? How much was it? Ten quid. No, it's ten out. I could get another one. There you go. Need some tin cans on the back of this car. <laughs> How do you feel? You'd feel feel. Every single emotion ever. Drunk. Drunk. <laughs> that tequila shot went straight to my head. It, it? it was so big. It was like a pipe. Yeah, it was big. Yeah. I literally don't know how to feel. Do you feel good? I think you feel great that you can't even process it. Yeah. Like you feel so good. Yeah. I'm just excited. Yeah. I'm excited to see the pic. The videos and start to tell everyone. You probably can't yeah. even remember any of it. No, I can't. All, yeah. I, all I remember is my fucking knees Fuck. trembling. Mm. They were trembling mm. underneath me when we when Matt was reading his vows because I thought I've got to go next. At least Matt's vows, by the way. Just read them and cried. <laughs> Brad pulled his eyes out, by the way. I <laughs> did a breakfast. Yeah, you stopped me. You were the first. And I was like, Emily, I can't look at you. <laughs> I just Don't felt really start. like lucky to be like. I was just so overwhelmed by like looking at the view. We mm. just had our breakfast arrive. Like Blast. I was overwhelmed. Um, and then at the ceremony I was trying to like capture everything so I was like right I don't have time to concentrate on anything mm -hmm. else so I'm glad I filmed everything because we can all watch it back mm -hmm. um, but I literally had this like and then I turned around and Brad was streaming <laughs> I was like are you okay? he was like man's crying and I was like I know but are you okay? <laughs> like, I feel so excited to just go home and like or not even go home just get like get tonight done not one wishing time yeah, no but get tonight done Telephone. get our pictures together send it to our family and just oh, well. no one knows right now that you are husband and wife like i think that's the fun thing yeah it's mad right so guys in 48 hours we've done a hen do a stag do to a wedding uh, we're, we're now doing our honeymoon oh yeah i love the pound for you <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel yeah, I feel great. I'm happy. You're a husband. That was amazing. You're all right. That uh -huh. was great. That's the best thing we've ever done. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I said yeah. to Brad, it was like the perfect mix of like everything she said set us off anyway. Yeah. Like the words in the ceremony were so, so nice. So she said a little poem before, didn't she? Well, she said like a little I don't even know what she said. After. I'm so glad they you filmed so, it. They were so like heartfelt. Like honestly, that was enough to I was just looking at Matt like, fuzzy already. don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's off again. 
Hey, man, I mean, I give up. You're crying again. Yeah. Man, I haven't had my chance. Leave me alone. 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 We are now heading back to the, our hotel. We're gonna get some more pics in the room because obviously me and Matt haven't had any together in our room. I'm Look gonna change, that. I've got outfit Whoa. number two and then we're gonna go get some sushi because how else do you end a wedding day? Literally a catch which is unbelievable mm -hmm. food. So peace out from a wife. Peace out from a really proud best friend. I love you, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs>
people as well. And Matt's now in the hot seat. He's so nervous. He's so nervous. So I can't even. 
It's so hard to say yeah. because there were so many good bits, like the whole experience, everything, just, it, it's literally out of a movie, that's how it felt. Yeah. It, it was so good. Yeah. I'm glad we done it. It's I the best thing we've ever done. I could tell you the best bit. Just the feeling of, from the beginning all the way to the end of the night, it was literally, like even when the, the photos were being taken at the start and then the videographer came and Georgia had like two or three minutes to get ready, like we I needed had to go. No dress on and yeah. my hair was done and I yeah. had three minutes. And we, we'd done like the first look and then camera's off, go, we need to go. Ran. We literally ran to the office. Yeah, running, running down the hallways in the hotel and then straight into the car. I don't think you even told them what car. About oh, the really? car. No, yeah. So I hired a car so that... We're driving very fast. Yeah. Um, I hired a car so that I didn't have to get an Uber to my own wedding. Uh, that was a big thing for me. I didn't want to have to get an Uber or a taxi or anything like that to our own wedding. So I hired a BMW i8. Um, but I was debating getting something a little bit bigger because obviously we've got Em and Brad with us. Brad but, was also over six foot. Yeah, Brad's a big boy. And um, when I saw on the list that said four seats, I was like, four seats, they'll get in them seats. Who cares? So I just ordered it and um, that was waiting downstairs for us when we had to leave. Um, Emma and Brad literally threw themselves in the back and we just drove basically as quick as we could to the uh, chapel. Straight out of the car and then straight into the chapel and within half an hour it's all over. Um, over and done. I don't even really think we had time to be nervous, anxious, nah. anything. I think that's what made it more fun. Yeah.